Hi guys, today I've got 4 batteries of the Super Highweight Division. Yeah, I mean 4500 million power capacity. The first hero is the Sanyo NCR1850GA, made in Japan. Uh, in its marking, there is a letter L after Sanyo, which means that it was manufactured by. Uh, Senyo Energy Igashiura Company The second hero is from the same manufacturer Senyo Panasonic They are the same company This one is made in China I will call it Panasonic because it's designed in Panasonic style You can see it it's also marked as NCR1850GA and it was made uh, in Suzhou, China. Panasonic has built a new factory there. The third hero is the LG INR1850MJ1. I think it's made in South Korea. And the last one is also from South Korea. Samsung INR 1865035E. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. I've done the measurements using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement and discharging at up to 20 amps. It also supports PC connection for building the curves, and I've also used a homemade battery holder which you can see it provides better grip and has larger contacts which is very important in case of discharging at high currents I've used it in this way That's it. I followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade, and before each discharging cycle, a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its data sheet, and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After the charging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. So, let's start with Senyo NCR1850GA. The sales marking is Senyo L NCR1850GA7401. The letter L after Senyo means that it was made in Japan by Senyo Energy Higashiura Company. The main specifications taken out from its datasheet are Rated capacity 4300 mAh Minimum capacity 4350 mAh Typical capacity 4450 mAh Discharge cutoff voltage is 2.5 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current is 10 amps. Standard charging current is 1.675 amps, but I've charged at 1.78 amps due to EBC A20's resolution restrictions. Maximum charging current is 3.45 amps. Charging end voltage 4.20 volts. Let's look at the results. As you can see, at 0.2 capacity, which means uh, 0.67 amp, it gave out 4491 million power, which is much more than the typical capacity of 4450 million power declared in the data sheet. The results at higher discharge rates are at 2 amp, 
4351 million power or 11.88 watt hour at 5 amp 4323 million power or 11.27 watt hour at 8 amp 4286 million power or 10.76 watt hour at 10 amp 4295 million power or 10.16 uh, watt hour as you can see at 10 amp it gave out almost uh, 4300 million power and the curve has no sudden faults I think it's a brilliant result let's pass to the Panasonic NCR 18650GA this guy is the twin brother of Senyo I call it Panasonic because it's designed in classic Panasonic style but uh, Panasonic and Senyo are the same company now so there is no difference between them the wrapping is in traditional Panasonic style and it has made in China and D75051W markings the cell was made in Suzhou, China at Panasonic's new battery plant it shares the same specifications and the same data sheet with Senyo NCR18650GA which is not a surprise as far as they have the same model number uh, the Chinese batteries results are the following you can see them on your screen at 0.2C or 0.67 amp it gave out 4448 mAh hours exactly the same capacity which is mentioned as typical in the data sheet it's lower than the Japanese one's result but uh, still a great one I think at higher rates the results are at 2 amp 4305 million power or 11.69 watt hour at 5 amp 4295 million power or 11.14 watt hour at 8 amp 4286 million power or 10.73 73 watt hour at 10 amp 4250 million power or 10.41 watt hour the results are a little bit lower than those of the Senyo but the difference is not critical Senyo's results can also differ from cell to cell so the main thing is that it complies with the data sheet's uh, typical capacity at 8 amp there is almost no difference and at 10 amp the difference is only 45 million power so let's pass to the LG cell LG INR18650 MJ1 this guy is made in South Korea and the wrapping has the following marking LG DB MJ1 1865 P274I uh, 401A1 according to its datasheet the main specs are nominal capacity 4500 mAh at 0.68 amp discharge minimum capacity 4400 mAh at 0.68 amp discharge discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts maximum continuous discharge current 10 amps standard charging current 1.7 amp maximum charging current 3.4 amps charging and voltage 4.20 volts the standard charging and discharging currents are a bit higher than those of NCR 18650GAs but the cutoff voltage is the same the results of the testing you can see on your screens a 0.2 capacity or 0.68 amps the capacity was 4384 mAh which is lower than the minimum declared in the datasheet this is not a good start for a heavyweight player the results at higher rates are a 2 amp discharge 4275 mAh or 11.62 watt hour at 5 amp 4258 mAh or 10.98 watt hour at 8 amp 4208 mAh or 10.49 uh, watt hour at 10 amp 
4205 milliamp hour or 10.09 watt hour. I can't call these results great or even good. Maybe they could be good if the cell was marked as 4400 milliamp hour one, but for a 4500 milliamp hour cell, I think it's a fail. Surprisingly, the results at 8 amp and 10 amp are almost identical. I don't know why it's like that, but the fact is a fact. So let's pass to the last uh, battery, the Samsung cell. Samsung INR18650 45E. This battery is also South Korean and the marking is INR18650 45E Samsung SDI 2G25. According to its datasheet, the main specs are minimum capacity 4350 mAh at 0.68 amp discharge, typical capacity. 4400 mAh power discharge cutoff voltage 2.65 volt maximum continuous discharge current 8 amps standard charging current uh, 1.7 amp maximum charging current 2.0 amps charging and voltage 4.20 volts pay attention to the discharge cutoff voltage it's higher than that of others Maximum charging current is only 2 amps, uh, which is slightly higher than the standard charging current and significantly lower than the 3.4 amp allowed for Senyo Panasonic and LG. Maximum continuous discharge current is limited by 8 amps, but I have tested it at uh, 10 amps for comparison. So you can see the results of testing on your screens. Uh, 0.2C or uh, 0.68 amps. The second Korean guy shows uh, 4488 million power, even having discharging cutoff uh, voltage at uh, 2.65 volts. I want to remind that the result of Japanese made NCR 18650GA with 2.5 volt cutoff was uh, 4491 million power. The difference is only 3 million hours. This is a very, very great result for Samsung, I think. The results at higher discharge rates are the following. At 2 amps, 4384 million power or 11.90 watt hour. At 5 amp, 4317 million power or 11.08 watt hour. At 8 amp, 42.48 million power or 10.47 watt hour. At 10 amp, 42.05 million power or 10.14 watt hour. At 10 amp, uh, it's slightly higher than the LG MJ1, but uh, don't forget that the Samsung's maximum discharging current is limited by 8 amps and uh, 10 amps uh, it's not uh, allowed uh, discharging current for this cell and also the MJ1's uh, discharging cutoff uh, voltage was uh, 2.5 volts let's pass to the comparison of these batteries let's start the comparison with the 2 amp discharging current Samsung continues its surprises. Even with 2.65 volt discharge cutoff voltage, it managed to overtake the Senyo NCR18650GA. Senyo is the second, Panasonic the third, and LG is the last. The difference between Samsung and LG is 109 million powers, which is a significant difference, I think. At 5 amp discharge, Senyo takes over Samsung thanks to its 2.5 volt discharge cutoff voltage. The battle between Samsung and Panasonic for the second place is lost by Samsung because although it has higher capacity, 4317 uh, versus 4295, Panasonic has higher energy, 11.14 uh, versus 11.08. 
the energy is much more important than the capacity so Samsung is the third and LG is the fourth as expected at 8 amp discharge uh, the 2 NCR 18650GAs showed the same capacity but the Japanese one has 0 0.03 watt hour more energy given out uh, so the first place is taken by him the fourth is Samsung's Nimble 45E cell and LG is the fourth a 10 amp discharge Senyo proves that he is number one and there can't be another opinion the difference between Japanese and Chinese NCR 18650GAs is 45 million power and the Panasonic is the second LG has lost the fourth place to Samsung despite his specs So who's the winner in the end? I think uh, it's obvious that the uh, Senyo NCR1850GA made in Japan is the number one. Panasonic NCR1850GA made in China is not the same but very close to its Japanese bow and it's the number two. Samsung showed an exceptional performance at 0.2C and 2 amps but at higher discharge rates Panasonic was better. LG is the outsider of this division. It's not a bad battery, but the competitors are better. It's better called a 4400 mAh battery than 4501. But that's my opinion. So that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this review, this testing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. Bye bye.